Happy Wine Wednesday and happy birthday to the king. Um, so today we're going to talk about aromatic wine. Now your aromatic wine can vary in weight, can vary in texture, and it can vary in sweetness. One common theme it does have is it's usually lower in alcohol content. Um, your top types of aromatic wine are going to be Gewürztraminer and Riesling and Viognier's. Now, you're going to find in these types of wine, you're going to find particular floral and herbal notes when you put it to your nose. Um, and this comes from an abundance of a certain chemical compound. And that chemical compound is terpenes. And it's actually also the same thing that makes roses smell so good. So during the fermentation process for aromatic wines in particular, they are generally going to use specific types of yeast, like native yeast, and they're also going to avoid um, allowing the firm. They're going to avoid fermenting the wine in new oak barrels, and generally go for your stainless steel barrels. And also, they're going to ferment it in cooler temperatures. And it's during that fermentation process in the stainless steel barrels that helps release all of these aromas. Um, coming from the chemical compounds, breaking the sugar down, etc. Um, one other thing to know about this wine is it's often not blended. So generally, each one of these wines is going to be made from one grape varietal. Other than that, it's really all there is to know about aromatic wine. Let me know if you have any questions and happy Wine Wednesday.